Welcome back to Dimitri's Garage. Today we're gonna to be testing Atom spray coating with ceramic glow technology. How cool is that? This is supposed to be very versatile. It says it's safe for paint, for glass, for headlights, chrome, uh, even a bed liner. So apparently you can use it on pretty much anything. It claims eight to 12 months of protection, impressive. And it is something that is supposed to be easy to apply because of that UV quality that we just saw. And of course, as usual, we're gonna be following the instructions on the bottle. I have had people kind of tell me that, hey, there's these better ways to use some of the products you're testing. For example, somebody mentioned that the colonite that I tested, you should melt it down first. I do realize that there are unique ways in which people with a lot of experience with a particular product choose to apply it. I get that. It's cool that you know how to do that. Most users are not gonna be doing any of that stuff. They're just gonna read what the bottle says and that's what they're gonna do. All right, let's go apply this coating on our test hood. The first step to applying this spray coating is to clay bar. Now this hood, it doesn't live outside. It's only used for testing, but I'll clay bar it anyway, just for posterity and to show you how to do it in case you haven't clay barred. To start, you're gonna need a piece of fresh clay and some detail spray. So first I apply a little detail spray and then I form my clay into a nice little shape we can hold in our hand. So normally if you're claying a car that actually has contaminants, you're gonna feel the clay bar being really, really rough. And then you're gonna feel it kind of let go and start to get really smooth. And when it lets go, it means you've basically gotten all the contaminants out of there. For me, there's really not gonna be any contaminants cause it is a clean car, it might just be some dust and crap like that that gets onto the clay bar. Once you've done a little bit of a section, ball the clay bar up and make yourself a new fresh surface. And then continue to clay bar. And occasionally flip your clay bar over and make sure to go over the entire panel. It should just be super, super smooth like that where the clay just glides and glides. Now, of course, when you're done with the clay, you throw it out. Now the next step is gonna be to polish the surface. I'm only gonna do a single step. Uh, whatever scratches I was able to get out without wet sanding, that's all I'm gonna be able to do. Now the product tells us to use Atom Surface Prep to remove any residue from polishing. I don't have Atom Surface Prep. In the detailing world, using isopropyl alcohol is widely accepted to remove compound and polish. So now we have this nice polished decontaminated surface, which is gonna be the perfect substrate for any coating wax that you might apply. Now the Atom's product does say you should do this for the maximum performance of their product. Other waxes, pretty much anything you apply will benefit from this. Now guys, the instructions suggest to use an applicator pad and to spray it onto the pad. Apply it to the surface here. And it says to give it one to two minutes. I was expecting a more dramatic effect but it is an effect. It is kind of cool to be able to see where you've applied it. We're gonna take a nice plush microfiber. This one's from the Rag Company and we're gonna buff it to a high shine. Very easy to remove. Now that we've removed it, let's see if the UV effect is still there. At this point, I'd normally give you my pass-fail score for ease of application. I'd either give it a point or not give it a point based on how easy I thought the product was to use. But I'm really conflicted on this product. And the reason I'm conflicted is because for a coating, it is easy to apply, but its durability, as indicated by the bottle, does not match what people expect from a coating. Based on that, it's really more like a ceramic-infused spray wax. But for a ceramic-infused spray wax, the suggested installation, you know, with polishing and clay barring and everything, is 
definitely not easy. So I would want to give it zero points. So I think what I'm going to wind up doing is listing it in two categories. I'm going to go ahead and open up the ceramic coating category on my website. There will be a link below. And I will also list it in the spray uh, wax that's uh, ceramic infused. So in the one category for spray on, I'm going to give it a zero. But in the ceramic coating category, I'm going to give it a one. I think that's the fairest way to approach this product because it does claim to be a coating and the directions are more coating like. This is my gloss testing station. Here we're going to test out Atom spray coating to see if it will improve the gloss or hurt the gloss of this panel. Now this panel, to remind you, is 90 gloss units with nothing on it. I've applied the spray coating per the instructions. I let it cure for a day. And of course, now that it's nice and cured, we're gonna be able to start testing. Some people have been asking if this product is gonna make their car glow in the dark. No, it won't. Yes, it has a fluorescent glow when exposed to UV light. However, that does not mean it's glow in the dark. It is fluorescent, not phosphorescent. Phosphorescence is what this watch has. When it's charged up with a UV light, fluorescence, on the other hand, will expel the energy it receives immediately. And we could see this in this $20 bill. So let's get our test started. First, we're gonna turn our gloss meter on. Let's delete any old results. Let's calibrate the gloss meter. All right, now let's do some testing. Let's try like over here first. Oh, 89.6 even. We'll be generous. Let's try over here. Let's call it 90.3. Let's try over, I don't know, let's say over here. Well, let's call it 90.2. Now, how about here somewhere? I'd say 90.5. And I don't know, let's do like here. 90.7. Let's make sure we're still calibrated. Yep, 104. We're good to go. So moment of truth time. Let's divide by 5. 90.26. So as I explained earlier, this panel averages 90 gloss units. So 90.26, or let's call it 90.3, it's not statistically more, you know, to say that this brings up the gloss, but it is good because really most products dull it out. What happens is most products work by creating a thicker layer that looks wet and shiny, but really they bring the gloss units down. This product has actually been able to maintain the gloss of the panel. So what we need to do now is wait for a test hood to cure, then go back and look at it and see if optically this looks good. Now, one of the things I like to do is to see if the product is gonna be able to survive isopropyl alcohol. And I do not score this test because I realize most things do not survive ISO. This is actually looking like a good sign. It's making the ISO bead. So let's go ahead and clean the ISO up. It does feel like it got pretty sticky, so maybe it didn't really work. Yeah, so I'm gonna say that it is not gonna resist ISO. Yeah, I see it's no longer beating up on this side. It's been 24 hours since we've applied the Atom spray coating to our test HUD. Now the bottle only says four hours are required, but with my filming schedule, it's a lot easier for me to go to work and kind of come back the next day and give a 24 hour care time. It shouldn't affect our results. So now we're gonna move on to testing the slickness as well as the durability and the optical quality of that test hood. Now, before we get started, I did wanna remind you guys that there are Amazon links down below in the description. Those links are the products that I use in the video. If you buy anything through those links, it doesn't even have to be the same product I'm linking to. I get a small commission. The very first thing that I like to test is how slick the surface is. I wish I had a scientific test for this. Like I mentioned, I haven't really come up with a good one yet. So for now it's pass fail, just like ease of application. The slickness is definitely pretty good. I have had better slickness from products like Wolfgang and Jeskar. So when it comes to slickness, I'm definitely giving this a pass. It's gonna get one point. Now we're gonna move on to discussing how good this product looks. I don't think it's necessarily the deepest and glossiest thing in the world. I think some products like, again, Wolfgang or Jeskar are nicer to look at, but I think there is a big difference between the two sides. I don't know how easy it is to see on camera. Sometimes this is something that's difficult to show. I'm gonna give this product a pass when it comes to visual quality. I think there is a significant improvement. Again, I don't think it's the most amazing thing in the world, but it is very significant. All right, we're outside now and we're ready to test the durability of Adam's spray coating. Now keep in mind, I've prepped both surfaces the same, so I did do the polish on the control surface as well. Let's take a look at how things bead before we get started with durability.
Now that beating was amazing. Seriously impressive. Let's take a look again. The scoring will be based on how many total washes the Atom side will be able to survive before it looks and behaves like the control side. We're going to be using Atom's pH neutral shampoo. All right, let's do our first rinse. Now guys, because this product claims eight to 12 months, I'd expect to get at least eight to 12 washes out of it. Number three. So after three, we're starting to see a bit of a hit to the beating capability. Rinse number five. Number five is still working, but we're definitely starting to see a reduction in quality. Rinse off number seven. It's getting real close, but it's still working. Runs number 10. I'm pretty impressed. You know, it really found kind of a plateau and it's just staying in that plateau. I'm not seeing it get kind of worse and worse test to test like it was before. All right, number 13. Still working at 13. Runs down 15. Maybe 17 as a stretch. So this is number 17. I'm calling that done. There's still pockets of wax, but if it were my car, I'd be redoing this. Now, before I do the final rundown for this product, there is a link down below to my website that has a full comparison of all the products that we've tested thus far. I encourage you guys to take a look to determine where this product falls in and what other solutions there might be for what you're looking for. Now, let's talk a little about the ceramic spray coating. It did work very well. I'm actually really excited about this product. Initially, when I heard about the UV technology, my first thought would be, wow, it would be super Super reactive but then it wasn't that reactive when shining it with a light but then we tested the durability uh, the glossiness and even the slickness and the visual appeal and it did very well especially the durability 17 washes is awesome so like I mentioned earlier in the video I want to break this product down into two categories one being ceramic coatings and the other being uh, ceramic infused spray waxes because I think it kind of works as both now, the way we tested it was more like a coating. We did a polish, we applied it. I would say in the coating world, there's probably more durability out of some other products, but this will be our first entry. And I'm gonna give it 20.3 points, which may be good, may be bad. We'll see as we test more coatings. Now, in the spray ceramic infused category, I think it did amazing. I'm gonna take a point away for ease of installation because of the polishing. Barring all that, it's still 19.3 points, which is super high up there. This is one of the highest scoring products we've had thus far. Now, I am also gonna be testing the non-UV version of Atom spray coating. We'll see if there's any difference there, because if you're not gonna use the UV light, and honestly, I do think it's a little bit of a gimmick, you may not need the UV version. So we will test that soon. It's right here back on the shelf behind me. So as usual, guys, I love it when you subscribe to the channel, when you leave me comments. I really enjoy interacting with all of you. Please do that. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what other products you want me to test. I'll catch you guys down below in the comments.